Hey everyone, it's Joy here with another Lawn Fawn video. Today I'm using the super cute Zesty Lemon Dyes along with an alcohol inked background on a slimline card. Now I'm going to start with the background. I have a piece of photo paper. I'm using the non-glossy side, but you can also use Yupo paper. And I have this cut larger than I have than a uh, slimline card. I think I have this like four by eleven, and then I'll just trim it down. So I am using shell pink alcohol ink. Then I have my brass pinata uh, metallic alcohol ink, and then I'm using ninety nine percent isopropyl alcohol, and then I just use a blow dryer on a cool setting. So I'm just gonna start by getting some color down on this background. I am not gonna be overly picky about how this background looks because a lot of it will be covered up. Now, my inspiration for the pink is from the pink blossoms on the lemon tree. So that's where my color combination is coming from. So I'm just gonna move this alcohol ink around and then I can come in and feather out the sides a little bit, but I just wanted to get some color down in the center. So now I'm gonna come back in with just some alcohol, and when you put the alcohol down, it's gonna catch some of that color, and then I'm moving it around with my blow dryer. You also can use one of those little air pumper things that use to clean your camera lens. You can use that too. I like this blow dryer for stuff like this because it moves around quickly and your hand doesn't get as tired. But as you can see where I'm putting the alcohol and then moving it, it's making it a little bit more wispy and not such a hard edge. So I'm just gonna do that down both of the sides just a little bit and then we can set this aside to dry because you know alcohol ink is gonna stay sticky for a little bit and then we can get into coloring the super cute zesty lemons. I love the yellow with like red or pink and so this just is really a bright fun card with this soft pink background and then these bright green and really dark or bright uh, yellow and then really dark green leaves on the lemons. So I'm just gonna finish up a few more spots. I wanna move some of that brass pinata. It says brass, but it's really like gold. I wanna move some of that metallic alcohol ink around, but then we have some darker areas in the center. Then I'm gonna put this aside to dry here in just a second, and let's get on to these lemons. Now I die cut all of my lemons from white cardstock. <clears throat> here is that cute little lemon die. And I just think it's so, so fun. It has all the pieces for the lemon and it has a couple little faces. I did not use the faces, but here are the lemon pieces. You have your solid piece for your whole lemon, then your front piece, then you have your solid piece for your lemon slice, the rind and the little lemon wedges. You have flowers, leaves, and stems. So here's the flowers. I did a lot of coloring ahead of time, but I'm gonna show you the coloring here in just a second of what everything looks like. So here's the flower. I'm using R00 for the larger flower because it's a really light pink. And then R20 for that smaller flower that's gonna go in the center. And then I think that was Y00 for the yellow part of that. Now I'm coming in with Y35 on that solid piece. It's kind of a darker color because you're gonna see that through the little holes on this lemon. Now I'm using Y15 and I'm just going to add some darker areas to the lemons. And I have to say, Coloring lemons, for some weird reason, is one of my most favorite things to color, and I don't know what it is about them, but they are so, so cute. You can see all of the lids here that I'm putting down for the colors that I'm using of Copic markers, and I'm using white cardstock from uh, Lawn Fawn, which is Copic friendly. Now I'm coming in with that Y35 and adding some dots. That's the color I used for that background piece, and I'm gonna put that aside, but I'm gonna add a few more dots because I kinda like that detail. Then here is the sliced piece, and I am using the same lemon color combinations. I've got the little lemon slices here with Y00. I'm just gonna color those while they're in the die itself, and then I have die cut another piece to this that we can just use the white part for the pith. So I'm gonna color all of these things, and then I will show you how we put those together. Now we have the leaves here, and I really wanted to use a really dark color for the leaves, and this is G2928 and G07. And I'm sorry, I did not have the cap up there for you guys. So here's the 28, the little bit of a lighter color. And I love that there's four different sizes of leaves. 
I think that's a lot of fun. And like I said, I used all of the images except for the little smiley faces. And then here is the G07. And I'm just gonna blend that out. And then we've got these great leaves. When I looked up my photo online on what a lemon leaf looks like, they are very, very dark, which I think is really striking against that really bright yellow. And then E57, I'm not adding any shading to the little stems here. I'm just gonna keep it one color because you're not gonna see much of that. Now let's put these together. I've got my reverse tweezers and Lawn Fawns glue. I'm gonna glue that front piece of the whole lemon to the back solid piece. I'm gonna glue the pith to the back solid piece of the sliced lemon, and then we're gonna add those little uh, lemon wedges inside that we colored with a little bit of a lighter color. And I forgot that there was some tape on the background, so I'm just gonna peel those back. But if you did not have tape on the background, you could just lay this over top and then push your little lemon wedges through into the glue with like a, the tip of your tweezers or something like that, and they would fit in. But that's not what I have to do. I'm just gonna use my little, um, tool here to pick up those pieces and then just put them right in there because I already have the glue. Something I'm doing with this is I'm also coming in with that Y35 and on the front edge I'm just adding a little bit of color because it gives a little bit of more interest to that instead of just a flat color just like I have those solid lemons. I'm going to glue those flowers together and then that's done. Okay, so I have my alcohol inked piece trimmed down to eight and a quarter, no, excuse me, eight by three inches. Then I've laid out my lemons and I'm going to pop all of the lemons and the leaves up with foam tape. I like that look floating on top of a full colored background like this. I just think it just really adds, obviously dimension, but visually it's just, really, really nice. It's just not a flat card. So again, I'm going to adhere these with foam tape. As you can see, some of these images are going to be off of your card, off of the edges of the card, which I will trim off when I'm completely finished. But look at how these lemons just pop off of that pink alcohol inked background. I think it's just absolutely stunning. I like tucking in the leaves underneath these lemons and then once I trim some of these off, I can add a couple more pieces. And I tend to die cut more pieces than I actually need, which I did have a few left over, which I'm glad because I don't want to have to come back in if I didn't have enough and die cut more later or color more later. I like to kind of get it done all at one time. So I'm gonna tuck in a few more of these leaves. Again, I think it's fantastic to have uh, four different sizes of leaves because it just gives you a lot more options. You can also notice that I did tuck some of my images under the lemons, some of the leaves are over the lemons, but they all do are, are popped up with foam tape. So I added a lemon slice at the bottom, I'm adding a whole lemon at the top, and again, just trimming off some of that excess. And then we can come in with these cute little flowers. And I just feel like these were the perfect finishing touches for this because it adds more of that pink, it just kind of softens up the yellow and the green with that really light soft pink so just again reverse tweezers and liquid glue and just putting those around and i did those in odd numbers the lemons were in even numbers but i think it totally worked one last little flower there okay so now let's do the sentiment i am using cole's abc's dye and we're going to spell out the word hugs and i'm going to die cut that from white cardstock three times and then i will adhere these together this is going to give this sentiment some dimension some thickness it's almost going to look like a piece of chipboard which i really really like i originally thought i was going to die cut this from some leftover pieces of the alcohol ink but it just blended in too much, so I thought the pop of white would be really fantastic. So I'm gonna finish gluing these S's, and then the sentiment that I'm going to finish using is from Better Days stamp set. That whole sentiment says, sending big hugs, and that's where I got my inspiration from. So I'm putting this onto some white cardstock in my Misty. I actually have it upside down because I just need the top part of the sentiment and I'm going to mask off the bottom part of the sentiment. And I'm just using Lawn Fawn's Jet Black ink to stamp that. And I'm gonna stamp that a couple times to get a good crisp image. And I'll just use my paper trimmer to trim out that sentiment. 
Now let's add some foam tape behind the U and the G. And I'm doing that because that's going to be directly it adhered directly to the alcohol inked background, while the other two letters from the word hugs will be on the lemon image or the leaf image. So I need to make them about the same height. So I'm just gonna come in with some liquid glue and put these down, just eyeballing, making sure they're, they're nice and straight. Let's just finish with that S and then we can add some foam tape behind the sending big stamped sentiment and we can put that right above the hugs. And I do like the black because it does just kind of pop out just like the white part of the sentiment. So I'm just gonna sneak that right in and I actually decided to move that a little bit to the left. Then we can adhere this card and just do some a couple or one finishing detail, which I really, really love. So I am using the shimmer cardstock in pastel and I'm using the yellow, which I trimmed to eight and a quarter by three and a quarter. And this is on a white slimline card base, which measures eight and a half by three and a half. So now we have this nice yellow shimmery matte against that pink background is so, so pretty. Now let's come in and add some dots with the glossy accents. I love this look especially like on flowers and fruit so i'm just giving some like dew drops on on these images and i just really think that this totally finishes the card and i think it's important to add finishing details like this with glossy accents or a white gel pen or a black glaze pen or you know even sequence something like that really just kind of finishes off your card design so i've just got a couple more and then that part is finished and you can see here how lovely that looks. And it really does, will dry completely clear, but it looks like little dewdrops. So I really hope that you enjoyed this project. I hope that you feel inspired. This zesty lemon dye is so, so darling, and you definitely need it in your stash. Thank you guys again so very much for watching, and I'll be back with another video.